Hey guys, welcome to QM Automated. This is Anuja and this uh, video we are going to see how to move Seekbar using Appium. So let us see what is exactly Seekbar. Seekbar is nowadays used by many applications. So this is how it looks. It is like uh, uh, when you check your mobile's brightness and you have a bar that controls the brightness, right? You can keep it low, high and it can be used as on off switch also so seek bars are uh, recently used in many uh, application designs and uh, when i started to uh, testing that using appium first i found that uh, some something we are to test like difficult to test and then i uh, i came up with this and i read many blogs and i came up with this solution this is very simple solution which i think uh, uh, we can automate Seekbar using. Uh, so let's uh, go to that. So Seekbar uh, so, uh, will have um, uh, an ID, a class name or something. So we have to find that first. So using UI Automator, you can find how you can uh, you know locate the locate the Seekbar in your application. That tutorial I have already shared. Uh, in my Appium video series, uh, the link I will mention it in the description also. Then now, once we can uh, we get how we can locate the seek bar and we have located it, uh, then next thing we want to do is we want to get the x-axis of the seek bar. That is the starting point of the seek bar. So if you see, so we have a starting point here and ending point here. And uh, that means start, if we get a starting point, then we have width of the seek bar plus we have a distance from y axis, like from vertically or uh, how much it is. So, this way or this way, then we have to find that also. So, first we will get the x axis uh, coordinate, then we will get the width of the seek bar, then we will get from vertically its location, then we, uh, we are going to use it. Uh, touch action uh, class here uh, as we have to uh, we are not using here a click or uh, you know uh, normal uh, uh, write text uh, send keys uh, kind of things we here we are what we are going to do is we are going to move it so for move to action is perform uh, means move to action is return in a class that is touch action so for that we will create object of touch action class which is named as action we will pass our driver object here which will we have created in our <coughs> at the rest setup um, method so entire code is available in the link given in the description box this is the test case which you need to understand uh, so then we have to do action dot press a uh, start comma y so start comma y coordinate start is the x coordinate y is vertically length so that will give the first point where we are pressing second point is the end point end point is nothing but the after completing the width what we get is the end point and then vertically y so let me show you go back so this is the start this is the y so we get this point then for end we we cover the width we get the width then y then we get uh, end point so in this way we are using press start here move till the end and then release and perform this that means we will automatically move our sig bar from start to end this is very interesting then if you if you don't want to move it till the end if you want to do it 40 percent 50 percent like that so you can use it li uh, like this so end into point 4 so instead of move till the end you can use you can use end into point 4 so i have created an integer variable move to where i calculated in int of end into point 4 and i passed it here so it will move 40 percent of the seek bar so this is uh, i think this is very interesting uh, try it out uh, and let me know if you face any issues. 
thank you for watching this video if you have any questions suggestions feedback please write in the comment section below also subscribe this channel so that you will not miss any future update so new new things are coming in automation even in appium selenium and i will be updating it continuously so stay connected with me you can uh, follow me on social media also and if you like this particular video then please give me a thumbs up thank you